Transfer Your Life in 15 Minutes. My name is Pia McAdams. I'm an author. I'm also an accounting professor and a certified life coach. I specialize in personal and small business finance and also fitness. I want to welcome you to this morning section of, uh, or live broadcast of Transform Your Life in 15 Minutes. We are doing five minute exercises, one each for the mind, body, and the soul. And today we are going to be talking about protein. As a matter of fact, uh, I just finished uh, subbing the cycle class and I was trying to, uh, just before I went on air, I just was eating me some protein. I had me some yogurt here, so kind of get myself together. But anyway, we're going to be talking about some protein. We're going to be talking about what is protein. We're going to be talking about food sources that contain protein. Uh, we're going to also talk about what are the primary functions that protein has in the human body. And we're going to find out what happens if you have too much protein and also too little protein. And also we're going to talk about the daily recommendations of protein. So I hope you guys are excited as I am to be talking about some protein. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. For some reason, this feels like weird today. I guess because it's a different time. Like usually this time I'm, I'm done. And so like the lights all shine. I'm so used to uh, filming this in, uh, when it's a little darker out. But anyway, I'll get used to it. Well, just for today, and also on Thursday, I'm also subbing the cycle class um, 5.30 in the morning on Thursday as well. So Thursday, I'll be um, broadcasting at 7 a.m. Um, but now on to protein. All right, so what is protein? So protein is really a large molecule that's really made up of like one or more amino acid chains. And there's, we can actually get proteins from our food sources, such as um, meat, uh, poultry, seafood, um, eggs, milk, uh, milk products like... Um, uh, cheese and yogurt while well, I just finished eating some yogurt. And then we can also get our protein from our plant-based uh, foods, such as your beans, you have your nuts, your seeds, your grains, and your soy products. Okay, so those are where we can actually find our proteins. Now, there are actually five main functions that the protein has in the human body. And the first one is going to be, it's going to provide structure. Okay, so provide structure. So think in terms of like the, um, the enzymes, which are cell activators, and they actually help break down the food. So without the um, enzymes, our food would actually take too long to digest, you know, too long for us to uh, be able to absorb the nutrients that we need for our bodies to live. And then also we have the, um, the hormones. Let me grab me some water here. I'm getting all confused here. All right, so let me start again. <laughs> All right, so, we, okay, so I mentioned that for um, um, the protein provides structure, right? So the structure that the protein provides is going to be um, not the enzyme. That's actually the second one. The structure that the protein provides is like the, the keratin that's found like in our nails, in our skin, and our hair is going to provide the strength for those. And then also it provides, is, it, think in the terms of the collagen, okay? So keratin and collagen are actually the protein that are in our bodies. And with the um, collagen, that's going to provide the main framework for our, um, our, our joints, okay? Our, the ligaments in our joints, that's going to connect the bones to bones. And also the tendons that will connect the muscles to the bones, okay? So it provides structure. The second, um, the second way that, that uh, protein provides <laughs> Why am I all discombobulated today? I know what it is. But anyway, so the second main reason, uh, second function of protein, get yourself together here, Pierre. The second function of protein today is actually going to be to also help regulate the body. And this is what I was referring to as far as the enzymes. Okay, so the enzymes are cell activators and they help us break down the food. And then also for the hormones. And of course, the hormones help um, regulate the cell activities and also the organs. Okay. Now, the third way is going to be for the transport materials. And for that, the example would be, think of the protein, the hemoglobin, where it actually is oxygen, oxygen transported through the blood cells, which are found in the red blood cells. Okay, so hemoglobin is actually a protein that's found in our body. And then we also, for protein, it actually also helps, um, helps immunity. Okay, so like the antibiotics that's found into our body is also going to help with that as well. All right, and then the last function that the protein has in the body, it actually helps provide energy. Now, with the energy, understand that energy, the protein is not the first source of energy that the, that the body uses. It's really carbs. The carbohydrates are the first source. But if there's not a carb, enough carbohydrates available, then your body can actually use protein as a source of energy. Okay, so those are the, fain, the five main functions of protein. Let me go through those again. So it's going to help you provide structure. It's going to also have you help regulate the body processes. It's going to also help transport the um, materials. It helps with immunity and then also provides energy. Those are the five main functions that protein has in the body. So you may be asking yourself, well, what is the daily recommendation that they uh, recommend for 
for um, protein that you have. And it's actually 0.8 um, grams per kilogram of body weight. So for women, that's going to be an average of 46 grams per day. And for men, that's going to be an average of 56 grams per day. And I think that's body weight wise, it's like 154 pounds for a male and like 130 pounds for a female. Okay. So that's how much protein that you want to have per day. Now, if you're wondering what happens if you have too much protein in your body, remember anything too much or too little is not good, right? It's all have to deal with the moderation. But if you have too much protein in your body, your body's going to make the chemical nitrogen, which is going to um, formulate um, ammonia, which is going to tax your kidneys. Okay. And that can um, lead to vomiting and also um, loss of appetite. So you don't want to have too much protein in your body. And then what happens if you have too little protein? Well, if you thought, think about the functions that I just mentioned, your body will not be able to function if you don't have enough protein in your body. Okay. So for instance, this is going to cause um, depression. It can cause muscle loss. It can cause a low sex drive. Um, it can cause anxiety and cause anemia. Okay. So these are the things that can happen. It just, your body won't function. I mean, think about the things I just talked about, um, you know, with the hemoglobin, the enzymes, the, um, the hormones, all of those are proteins in our body. So we do need proteins in the body. All right. So hopefully this has been a little helpful for you. So sorry it's like discombobulated, but I just, like I said, I, this is, I really haven't had, you know, if we talk about your body not functioning properly, that's why I'm discombobulated because I literally got up this morning and I taught this 530 cycle class. And you know, if you've ever taken a cycle class, it's really taxing on your body. And so when I came back here, I immediately started getting ready to prepare for this broadcast. And I really didn't have time to eat because the class was from the 530 to 630. I was broadcasting at 7. So I really wolfed down some protein in my body, but now it's like kicking in. I'm feeling a little better, but before I was like kind of shaky. So that's what happens. I just showed you on air what happens if your body doesn't have enough proteins, right? So there was definitely no carbs in my body. So it started breaking down um, the, uh, the protein in my body, which is why I was like, what's going on here? And it's getting like lightheaded and dizzy and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so you just saw on live um, air process of what happens if you don't have enough proteins in your body. Okay, so um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, keep in mind, guys, I like to stress that nutrition is very, very important to your body. It's 80% of your overall health. And then starting tomorrow, then we'll move on to other things that we need to also pay attention to, such as making sure that you have enough, um, enough sleep and, of course, exercise. You want to move that body and then also um, reducing your stress. So we'll be talking about the rest of those for the remainder of this week. And we are going to be concluding um, my book. We won't actually we won't, didn't get the chance to finish all of the portions of the book, but we will be starting another book um, in the month of July. And I'll talk about more about that later on this week. All right, but now let's move on to the yoga portion of it. We got a new yoga routine today, so I'm excited about that. Let me see. Hopefully, okay, perfect. Because everything was going on, like right, I didn't have the protein in my body. My cell phone battery was dying. I tell you. <laughs> so what happens when you have a when you kind of disrupt your uh, your normal routine? Which this really was, but it's a good thing, right? Because it's all about change, and we are eliciting change because we're trying to transform our bodies. All right, okay, and so I walk down here through the Hall of Positivity. Like I said, it's kind of weird because it's so light out, and I know I'm usually done by now, so that's okay. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So we're going to start with, the, um, with the yoga, and this time we're going to start off in a tabletop position. So in a tabletop position, you're going to have your palms directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to have your knees directly underneath your hips, and we're going to be in neutral spine. And I'll walk you through that process. And then immediately after that, we're going to go into a five-minute guided um, meditation. It's beginner meditation. The purpose is to help you focus your mind. Just kind of get used to getting still, particularly if you are new med to meditating. So this particular um, script is going to be um, designed just to kind of get you used to what it feels like to be in the meditation, what it feels like to be in stillness, what it feels like to go internal, what happens when your thoughts come into your mind. So I'll walk you through all of those, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and assume the position. Go ahead and get into the tabletop, and let's get started with the yoga. All right, so again, your palms directly underneath your shoulders. Fingers are spread out nice and wide, and your knees are directly underneath your hips, and uncurl your toes so they're flat. Now, we're going to take a nice deep breath. Chest to chin comes forward, forehead goes up to the sky. And as you exhale, I want you round through the spine and tilt your pelvic under. 
Again, as you inhale, your head and chest comes forward. Forehead goes up towards the sky. Arch your back. Tailbone sticks out towards the back of the room. And as you exhale, round through the spine. Drop the chin down towards your chest. Press those armpits all the way down to the mat. Let's do that one more time. Take a nice deep breath. Belly towards the mat. Chest comes forward. Forehead goes up towards the sky. Arch your back. And as you exhale, round through the spine. Tap the pelvic under. All right, return back to tabletop. Back to neutral spine. And let's go ahead and drop down your knees directly underneath your elbows where the palms were. Just kind of walk, and as you exhale, walk your knees back. It's one of my favorite poses. It's heart to the earth. This really brings belly extension from the fingertips all the way to the shoulder joints. Continue to breathe. Really press those fingertips in towards the mat to fill in the stretch. All right, let's take it back up to the tabletop. And then just kind of just like wiggle your body. It just feels good in the morning as you're stretching. Just take the hips side to side. Just taking your time. All right, return back to tabletop, bring the knees back underneath. Curl your toes under, let's take it to downward facing dog. Now start to pedal your legs, and remember you can always take this fist into a wide legged stance where you take your feet out toward the edges of the mat. As you take a nice deep breath, let's come up on the top of your toes, up on the tippy toes, and as you exhale, round down through the balls of your feet all the way down to the heels. Press your chest towards your thighs, your knees. Let's do that again. As you inhale, come up on the top of your tippy toes. And as you exhale, roll down through the balls of the feet all the way down to your heels. Try to get those heels down to the mat. Continue pedaling those knees or your feet, your legs. Sway those hips side to side. Move your head side to side. Just do what feels comfortable to you. It's really early in the morning. All right, let's bring our body to plank. And we're going to hold plank for three deep breaths. For some of you, this may be too challenging. Feel free to release your knees down toward the mat. All right, push it back to down facing dog. And on the next breath, I want you to bring that left foot forward toward the fingertips. And let's take it up to the high lunge. This time, with the palms facing forward or inward toward each other. Make sure your knees, are, your knee, your front knee is directly over the ankle. Now, let's bring the palms together at the heart center. And then rotate. Really open up the chest. Now go ahead and extend the right arm up, left arm goes down, fingertips to the mat, and open up the chest a little more. Remember, you can always place that back knee down and do the same thing from a low lunge position. All right, bring both palms forward. Take it back to down facing dog and start to pedal those legs. Remember, you're doing what feels comfortable to you. If you need to take it into a wider stance, do a wider stance. Move your head side to side. Move your hips side to side. All right, let's return back to the plank for three deep breaths. Remember, if you need to, release your knees, uncurl your toes, and do a modified plank. Okay? This is fine. Take 
take it to bow up facing dog. And on your next breath, bring the right foot forward toward the fingertip and let's take it up to the high lunge. Now remember, if you want to, you can go to the low lunge. Relax those shoulders, get them down and away from your ears. Now bring the palms together at the heart center, rotate towards your right and rotate out. Palms together, open up the chest. Try to get the belly away from the thighs if you can. Now go ahead and release the right arm up. Left go, fingertip goes down. Really open up that chest. Your glaze is on your thumb. If there's too much strain and stress, feel free to look forward. You can also look down. And then release the palms down toward the mat. Take it back to the out facing dog. And pedal those legs. This time as you pedal those legs, start to walk your feet in towards your palms. Try to keep the palms down onto the mat. Keep your knees bent. Just kind of rest here so that your chest is on your thighs. Let the crown of your head fall down toward the mat. And then slowly round it up. Just take your time, one vertebrae at a time. Make sure your head is not to rise. Rotate your shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath as you inhale. Use up all the space and energy that's around you as you exhale. Bow your body forward. Place the palms flat on the mat. Walk your feet out toward the edge. And as you exhale, release the tailbone down toward the mat. Now bring the palms together. Use those elbows to push out on those inner thighs. Bow your head down. Now release the right palm down. Left palm goes up and over. And then switch. And then bring both palms behind you as you start to transition your weight. Bring your body forward to a comfortable seated position. Cross-legged. Making sure to turn your sits bones without the fleshy part of your body. Take your fingertip down toward the mat. Take a nice deep breath as you inhale. Palms come up, and as you exhale, fingertips go down toward the mat. Again, as you inhale, palms come up toward the sky, and as you exhale, release the fingertips down toward the mat. One more time, deep breath, inhaling. This time, we're going to greet the palms together at the very top. Exhale, palms go down to the heart center. And namaste. All right, staying in a nice, comfortable seated position, let's go ahead and go to the meditation portion. Go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to take a nice deep breath. And exhale through your mouth. Again, nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth. One more time, nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth. Continue your breathing. And as you settle into the rhythm of your breath, knowing throughout this practice that you're gonna hear sounds inside your room and outside of the room. These are not distractions nor disruptions. 
is simply what's happening around you. Continue to breathe, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Begin to notice the mind as it wanders, jumping from thought to thought. And gently guide your attention and focus to your stomach and your chest. As you breathe, as you inhale, feel them rise. And as you exhale, feel them fall. Simply continue this practice, observing the sensation in your breath. Notice as your mind wanders, and just release the thought, just returning your attention and your focus to the breath. Breathing in, follow the breath in. And breathing out, and just follow the breath out. The mind wanders. Just gently guide your attention back to the breath. Just let go of any expectations or judgments of your practice. Just sitting and breathing. As you breathe in, feel your stomach rise. And as you breathe out, feel your stomach fall. Just learn to be comfortable in the stillness. Just knowing what it's like to just sit still and breathe. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time, nice deep breath, inhaling through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Go ahead and open up your eyes as you release, relax, return, refreshed, and calm. You've done something good for yourself today. So we start to move, and thank you for taking the time to meditate with me. And again, thank you for time for watching this podcast, um, Transform Your Life in 15 Minutes. Today's word is supportive. I want you to have a very supportive day. So be supportive in all the people that um, are around you as you would like to be supportive to them for you 
for them to be supportive for you as well. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.